Well, we're not used to such extreme weather and it's costing us big time. Residents who have never had water trouble before have had their homes flooded, leading many to reevaluate their insurance policies. 10 inches of rain in four hours in Lower Bucks County earlier this week, and the National Weather Service called it a 100 year flood and more rain is predicted this weekend. And today, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf will tour the towns hit the hardest. And the governor will head to Bristol and Ben Salem this afternoon, and he's expected to visit the Lafayette Garden condos where people had to be rescued by boat. And we've been covering all the damage and how so many people lost everything. But it's not just the rain we need to worry about. Earlier this month, Elsa spawned two tornadoes in New Jersey, one in Little Egg Harbor and the other in Woodbine, Cape May County. And then there are tragedies like the condo collapse in Florida. Residents never saw it coming and they lost everything. So it makes you think, do I have everything that I need when it comes to insurance? Or what should I do when something happens to me? What's the best way to go about it? Because we know it can be a messy process. So we want to bring in financial planner Jocelyn Wright, who says, unfortunately, a lot of people don't think about it until, you know, tragedy strikes or something bad happens. So we want to talk about it now. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing all right. Well, let's get into it because I know some people are watching with all the weather that we've had recently. They're probably thinking, hey, do I need to file a claim? So let's start with the folks who need help right now. What do you need to know before filing? And is it always worth it? It, it all depends. So what you need to know before filing is if you have coverage. So in the case of the flooding, that will be a separate policy. You actually need to have flood insurance because floods are not covered in your typical homeowners or renters policy. So that needs to be a separate coverage and flood insurance needs to be in place 30 days in advance. So we can't just look at the forecast and say, hey, it's going, you know, we might have some flooding this weekend. Let me call my insurance agent and get coverage. So that is something that you need to certainly pre-plan and knowing when the typical time of year is, you can always put that in place ahead of time. But you're also and, saying that it may be cheaper to just re replace on your own instead of having to go through the process of filing a claim? Well, and that depends on how much damage you have. Right. So, of course, with any insurance claim, you're going to have what's called a deductible. And so you want to look at, is my claim more than what my deductible would be? So if it's below your deductible, you know, if your deductible is 1000 and your loss is only 500 you wouldn't file a claim in that situation so you have to look at that to see uh, if it makes sense to file and the other thing is when we have these big weather events that means a lot of people are calling because a lot of people need help and so that can be quite a process you're saying sometimes you might need to call more than once two times three times Right, because there may be situations where the, the company may de deny your claim. And if you feel strongly that you have a claim, you, you know, should always go back to them again and have them reevaluate the situation. And sometimes but they reverse. really need to know what your coverage includes in order, you know, to be steadfast in being persistent with that. Gotcha. Do they sometimes reverse? I think sometimes folks feel, well, they told me no twice. I'm just going to let it be. There's no hope. It really depends. You mean, if you're, you know, you've looked at the policy, even if, you know, I've seen cases where with insurance companies, someone may bring in an attorney if an insurance company denies a claim. So it depends on if you want to go that far. And then there is the added expense if you have uh, an attorney look at your, your case. Okay. Well, we just put up on the screen some of your tips on how to streamline the process when it comes to submitting a claim. What are some of the things we need to know? You already mentioned, make sure you know what, what, what's covered in your bachelor policy. Right. And so it's always good ahead of time. I always encourage clients to take an inventory of their belongings. So whether it's, you know, doing a video or taking photos so that you know what the loss is. And so have that along with receipts of how much those items cost uh, is going to be important. And, and then, of course, as I mentioned before, all claims require a deductible. So you need to have that amount available to pay before any claims are going to be processed. Okay. Now, for the folks who are watching this, they're like, hey, you know what? Maybe I should. We have had a lot of weather events. Maybe I should just get some insurance. It's important to know there's a difference with renter's insurance and if you're a homeowner and how that goes. So let's start with folks who are renting. That doesn't right. include flooding? No, flooding is always a separate policy because that's not, you know, something that comes from, you know, the wind and the rain, which will typically be covered under your renters or homeowners insurance. Okay. And what else should we know? Um, because it only covers certain parts of the home, right? If you're renting. For, 
for the renter, it's going to cover your belongings. The owner of the property is going to be responsible for the walls. So you, that would just cover your belongings um, inside the property. Okay. And then if you're a homeowner, what should you know? Uh, and for a homeowner, one, if you have a mortgage, you're required to have insurance. So the one thing that you do want to make sure of is how much coverage you have and what's covered. So periodically, you want to take a look at your coverage, talk to your agent, and make sure you have adequate coverage. Because there are situations where people have coverage, but it doesn't cover enough. And so when they have a claim, they're still going to have a loss because they didn't have adequate protection. Because we talked about flood coverage, but there's also wind coverage. So what would that, what situation would that deal with? So the separate wind policy is if you live on a coastal area. And for most of us on the East Coast, we will, you know, especially if you're near the beach, mm -hmm. you will have, uh, you may have to have a separate coverage because if you're in an area that typically has damage, some insurance companies may not cover the wind in your homeowner's policy. So you would have to get a separate windstorm policy. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say or make sure that people should remember as they try to navigate this? I just encourage people, particularly renters, to, you know, get that coverage because we see many times, whether it's what's happened recently or when there's a fire or other damage, people lose all of their belongings because they didn't have coverage. And right now they estimate that the average cost for renter's policy is under $200 a year. So it really, uh, you know, it's sort of, what do they say? A pound of prevention, an ounce of prevention is worth a, a pound of cure. So it's, you know, very cost effective to get this coverage. Mm. And make sure you take pictures. Take pictures and have that inventory. And you mentioned what happened in Florida. I encourage, also encourage people now that so much um, is online, have things like your passport, your insurance policies, uh, birth certificates, those sort of things saved on the cloud. So if you were in the unfortunate situation of what happened in Florida, you can just go online and pull down these documents. Those individuals, unfortunately, some of them didn't even have a chance to go back inside and get some of those documents. And that doesn't even include, you know, your sentimental um, assets like pictures and different things like that. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Very important advice sure. for folks. We always appreciate your insight. Have a good day. All right, you too.